arena? Yeah, somebody might say otherwise, at these statos, but um, I can't remember being in before, so yeah, I think it is my first time. And the pitch, apparently on Wednesday there was a youth team game called off here because it was Wardlaw, but it looks fine. No, it looks fine. We've been out there and as you said, there's a little patch over there where the rugby created a bit of a training scrum and uh, and it's a little bit wet over there. And But anyway, no, you can't complain about the pitch, to be honest with you. And, you know, the lads feel uh, they haven't come here with any negatives, that's for sure. Certainly not about the stadium or the pitch. In terms of the performance on Tuesday night, are you happy to go with the same 11 again or have you decided to change anything? No, we've gone with the same 11. Um, I felt that, uh, you know, they, they, they we played well enough and it was a real proper, my way of playing, uh, we played, without getting the extra goal. So hopefully if they can play the same, uh, and just get that extra goal or two, then that will be a perfect performance for me. And Billy's certainly having an impact as a sub at the moment, so he's making that, in a sense, he's making you think about him, if, 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 if no more than that. Well, they're all making me think about him. You know, I brought them in, um, Vaughnie and Acer and Rowie and Billy. Uh, Billy don't want to be known as a super sub, that's for sure. You know, he, he, n none of them do. But we are where we are because of our squad, and, and I've got to keep convincing them that they are a major part of our squad and there's still uh, got two thirds of the season to go for them so uh, they'll get their opportunity they, they just mustn't be not ready because they've been disappointed and mentally they're they're a bit down they've got to be mentally up with everybody else so same 11 same bench as well uh yeah same bench same 11 same bench yeah and oh no no one change callum done his ankle callum um Kitschka. Uh, training on Friday, so we brought up Reese. So Reese Lovett will be on the bench as a reserve goalie. So any indication as to how serious that ankle is? No, I think it's very serious. Um, our medical team have had a look at it, and uh, no, he's, he's fine. It'll he'll just be a week or two. Malcolm obviously was appointed in the summer here. What what have your spies told you about Gateshead? Well, they haven't won in four or five games, so they're a wounded animal, as I say. We've got to be careful because. Um, it looks like reading everything that they're going to try and go for it a bit. You know, they they did, haven't liked, I think, a couple of games where they sat back a little bit. But I know Crozier, he's my my assistant at Northampton when I was there for a, a season or so. And uh, he's a good lad and he likes his teams playing attractive attacking football. So I can't see any reason why he would change now at the age of 75 years old. And in Bowman and Shaw, they've got He's not really, two, two forwards who, who know the level and, and have actually scored goals regularly, as, yeah. as, as your boys have. Yeah, they've got a few players that know the level. And, and every, every game we play, we know that you know, they, they know the level enough to, uh, to have results in them. I think they beat Forest Green Rovers away 1-0. They've, they've had some good results and they've had some poor results. So, you know, we don't know which one of their teams are going to turn up today as far as the good or the bad or the ugly. Looking at them training, they look a bit... No, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but anyway, um, certainly whether it's the good or bad, we've got to make sure that we're good. And if we're good, then uh, we're a match for anyone. Thank you, Gary.